Hey guys, welcome back. It's Jeffrey with Achieve Ed. So I've been getting a question recently about whether you should report your AP scores on the Common App and if so, should you report all the scores or is it okay to kind of like leave out, you know, some of the bad scores that you got? Um, so that's what this video is going to be about. I'm going to answer all those questions today. So first on the question of whether you should even self-report at all, I think it's important to note just how unimportant uh, AP scores are in the college admissions process. Um, the point of taking AP exams and the point of getting AP scores is ultimately to get college credit for a course. For example, if you took AP chemistry and you got like a four or a five on the exam and your school accepts that credit, they'll either place you out of that class or give you credit for that class. So those are only relevant when you actually commit to a college and then the college is gonna ask you to you know, send in your AP transcript and then they're gonna apply the college credits as needed. Um, before that, it's not as important and that includes in the college admissions process. Another big part to keep in mind is that not everybody even has AP scores to report, right? Like international students are not taking AP exams. Uh, some high schools don't even offer AP courses. So, you know, some people having AP scores, some people not having AP scores. The college admissions officers are not going to think too much about that because they know that, you know, every student is different, every school is different. Um, so they're not going to like weigh that too much for or against you. So ultimately, when you're thinking about whether you want to self-report your AP scores, you're going to want to consider first, are your scores good? Um, you know, are they good scores like fours or fives? Um, you know, that will reflect good on you in a college application because even though they don't matter that much, like I said, um, certainly you want everything going for you. You want as much as possible going for you in your college application. And if you got good AP scores to add on top to your application, um, then, you know, why not go ahead and add those scores? And second, you want to consider the AP exams that you actually took and which ones you did well on. I mean, this is going to matter. Uh, you know, based on the major or interest that you put down in your college app. So for example, uh, you know, if I put down that I'm interested in economics on my college application, I'm looking to like major in economics in college, um, and I look at my AP scores, and I also got fives on the AP microeconomics and AP macroeconomics exams, then it might be a good idea to put those AP scores on there, uh, you know, because it might help my application. It might show that, you know, not only am I interested in economics, but I'm actually, you know, backing it up with actual good scores from the AP exams. And of course, conversely, um, you know, if it kind of conflicts, like if you got low scores on the AP micro and macro exams, yet you say you're interested in economics, um, you know, maybe you don't want to include those scores there because it might send some conflicting messages. And of course, like, um, I'm, this is not saying that like AP scores and like interest or whatever or a success in the field are correlated because they're definitely not. Um, but, uh, you know, the college admissions officers are looking at all parts of your application and you just want to like present the best possible light. And even the little things, even the very small things uh, you want going your way. So yeah, I would consider those things. Um, and on the question of like whether like you can, you know, selectively report scores, say only report the scores that you did well on, um, you know, only report the fives and leave out the twos and the threes or whatever. Um, yes, you can go ahead and do that. It does not matter at all. Um, it is all self-reporting. So as long as you're reporting the correct scores, you're not like putting in fake numbers or anything. Um, you know, you just report the best scores you got, present yourself in the best possible light. And what is considered a good score will depend on what college you're applying to. If you're applying to, you know, a more selective school, maybe just report the fours and the fives. If you're applying to a school with, you know, a higher acceptance rate, it might be a good idea to include more of your AP scores, even if you got threes or even twos on them, um, because the fact that you even took AP exams in the first place uh, might show the college admissions officers that, you know, maybe you're like a hardworking student or whatever. Um, so it might go your way also uh, that way. Um, but yeah, again, I just want to emphasize like in the end, this decision does not really matter too much, uh, whether you decide to report or whether you decide not to. 
Um, but uh, if, as you're making this small decision, you know, just keep some of these things in mind, like I said, in this video. Now, before we end here today, I wanna to give a quick plug to our free consultation. So if you enjoyed this video, you found this helpful, then go ahead and sign up for a free consultation in the link in the description below. We'll spend 30 minutes with you on a Zoom call answering your questions. We can review your essays. You can like share your screen. We'll give you comments. We can review your activities list, which we've done a few times in the past few weeks. Uh, really, the time is all yours and it's all free for 30 minutes. So go ahead and click the link in the description if you are interested. Other than that, that is going to be it for this video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, like this video, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace.